All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of World War One weapons, which is being made by user Trophy Hunter. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a selection of three different melee weapons from World War One. And frankly, well, I've got a bit of a thing for Battlefield 1 at the moment, so when I saw this pop up on the Nexus, I just had to take a look and I am quite pleased I did as the these are some pretty cool pieces of kit and thankfully pretty easy for you to get your hands on as you have a multitude of different ways to actually get these items now first and foremost is how I get the items for these videos and that's through console commands but this mod also does have integration with the AWKCR mod which enables you to actually build these things through the Weaponsmith Workbench, it also adds them into the Raider leveled loot list, so you should be able to find them on various Raiders throughout the Commonwealth, and that's just a good thing. And finally, you can have them be bought in Diamond City, and that, that is just nice. So you got plenty of options, and well, that's, that's always handy to have. Now, as for the weapons you do get, if we go into the Pip-Boy, we have, of course, first and foremost, a British Cavalry Saber, which is awesome looking. If we actually take a gander at this item, it is a pretty nicely modeled Cavalry Saber. Of course, we already do have, oh god, what is it called? I believe the Officer Sword in the game already. Uh, and I think this is just a good sort of alternative to that. And it's just, uh, it's, it's nice to have. Now, as for its stats, it's not the most damaging of weapons, only being at 25 physical damage, and its speed is pretty slow. But a weight of 4 and value of 50, should, you know, I, I guess balance it out for the early levels of the game and overall it's just nice to have who doesn't want a cavalry saber it's just cool now the next weapon we have is the trench club which I think is my favorite weapon in this mod purely because of the fact that it definitely definitely fits into the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout 4. I mean, come on, it's a freaking trench club, and historically, if I'm remembering correctly, these things were typically a fairly improvised weapons being made of just whatever you could get on hand. It kind of makes sense that you'd have something similar to that here in Fallout 4. And I just love the look and feel of this thing. You got the lovely bludgeoning bit up top with all the spikes and the cordage wrapping all the way down the handle, which is pretty impressively actually wrapped. And when we look at these on our uh, actual person in a moment, you'll notice the high quality of the uh, coil wrappings there. Now, as for the damage, it is only 33, so a little bit better than the Cavalry Saber, but not exactly again the greatest weapon ever it has a medium speed a weight of three and value of 47 now the next and final weapon that we have is the US 1917 trench knife which is well a stabby trench knife and again makes sense that it'd be here in the Fallout 4 universe as not only is it a beautiful stiletto style stabby blade but also has the cool protective hilt down here with some brass knuckles on it and that that's just fun. Uh, now this is of course the least damaging of all the weapons in this mod at only 22, has a medium speed, a very minuscule weight of 1.3 and value of 34, but overall is quite a fun knife to have indeed. Now let's take a look at these on our person and of course first and foremost, the freaking British Cavalry Saber. Oh, I love this thing. It's just a fun sword to have, and after our uh, plasma sword that we looked at last episode, I think a good uh, counterbalance going from plasma back to World War I Cavalry Saber, and it's just lovely. Now, of course, oh, actually, I set these to favorites, so there we go. Two for the uh, Trench Club. Oh, I love this thing. Again, it is a slashy weapon, and if you'll notice, the actual bludgeoning bit of the club up top 
I think could use a little bit more texturing work. It looks a bit too plasticky to me at the moment, but if you look down at the wrap, the coiled, uh, I guess, rope or whatever it is down there on the hilt, now that looks gorgeous. It actually looks very well textured, very well modeled, but yeah, the top seems kind of awkward compared to the two of them. It looks very plasticky, and it's just kind of a meh thing. Now, actually, with this, I should point out that for the downloads for this mod, there are three separate downloads. The base standard mod, which is considered the, you know, generic one you should download, comes with 2K textures. Now, if you have a potato of a computer, you can actually download a 1K texture version. And finally, there is also a 4K texture version, which my computer can't handle. So perhaps the top bit of the trench club here uh, actually looks better on the 4K. It very well may. I'm using the 2K ah. textures here, so that ah. is definitely worth noting. And of course, finally, we have our trench knife, which I love because rather than slashing, ah. it's a stabby weapon. Go ah. right for the eyes of your enemy, ah. and it's glorious. Now, of course, if you attack quick enough, you will get a slash out of it too, but I prefer just the stabby, stabby, stabby. It's wonderful. Now, unfortunately, one downside to these mods, if we go over to this weapons workbench, is the fact that these unfortunately have no upgrades that we can create for them, and I am very disappointed in that fact. Now, it is worth noting that for all of these weapons, there isn't any right now. This is a very, very new mod. As of the time of recording this episode, it came out yesterday. So when you guys see it, it will have come out two days ago. So there is, of course, always the opportunity for the mod maker to update this in the future for actually having some modifications in here, and I really, really hope they do. But for the time being, as of the time of recording this, there are no modifications, which saddens me, especially in regards to the Trench Club, because again, it feels so at home in this universe, it just makes sense that maybe you'd have a modification in here for, I don't know, like some crushed glass or something that you'd add to it to make it more damaging, and that that would be very fun. And at the very least for the Cavalry Saber, remember, of course, we do have the Officer Sword in the game. Perhaps just give this the same sort of modifications you can give to that, I think would be a sensible thing. But hopefully that'll come into the future. That's not guaranteed. I don't know even in the slightest what might happen. But uh, I'm hopeful that perhaps we will get those. I think it would be a good addition. Now we're going to leave the actual workshop area because, of course, whenever I try to go to third person with these things, it likes to open up the workshop mode. I really should change my keys. But, uh, yes, we have our glorious, glorious saber here, which we can do a lovely swipes there for our our enemies and actually get some uh, good views here of our saber beautiful beautiful no go back to the cool view of that oh no he's not gonna cooperate is she fine fine okay let's go there and yes a beautiful view of that club there as well do a little slash slash and then try and do the cool v oh god the camera mode never cooperates you know i really need to learn the camera controls better i've always been awful at those and then of course finally the stabby 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 of the trench knife and it's just fun uh, but yeah that is really it for this mod it's uh, just three simple weapons and they are glorious pieces of kit so if you would like to try out this mod for yourself and i definitely say to give it a go you can take a look at the link in the description as always and please do go check out these world war one weapons as they are just fun but yes that is going to be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and of course you do come back for the next episode but until that time thank you for watching and as always, have a good one!